Okay, so we're starting uh, vacuum bagging. We're gonna vacuum bag the inside of one of those one of those valve covers. So Quinn and uh, Gabe put the double-sided tape on here, and they're gonna peel away peel away the backing. Then very carefully, they'll close this uh, close this piece. So we basically make a bag. So I can hold this part. We got that part on itself. Let's make sure we got enough. So do that, do that edge first. Get that edge kind of sealed on there. And then I see a problem here. We might have to, we might have to angle that tape in. Well, it'll be close. So then we can get that one down. I'll hold it here. But well, we got to get that out of there. So we have our vacuum bag made. What we'll end up doing is kind of peeling this one up a little bit so we can seal it to that. Um, and then we'll end up putting our parts in here. So I'm with I'm with Gabe and Quinn and they're doing their layup for their for their vacuum bag. So they took a layer of plastic, they put down a layer of carbon, put some resin on it, kind of spread it out a little bit. Uh, then the first layer of fiberglass. Does it need to be perfect? Or not? Doesn't need to be perfect, and then you can put the next layer of fiberglass on. Basically, use the rest of it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, use the rest of it. Just try to get it as flat as you can. So that's probably good. Now, Quinn, you can fold your uh, fold your plastic over. Is it still playing on it? Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. So get it right on your fold. Here, fold it up. Gabe, you want to help him? So he's. Don't you have a fold already in there? No. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're gonna need to make one. Because it has to be perfectly flat. You can't have any. Okay, that, you'll be able to squeegee it out. So now, yep, start in the middle. Start in the middle and just go out to the edge and just squeegee until it's completely all wet out. And you'll be able to know when it's all wet out. Yep, you want to get that completely wet out as much as you can. See, I think that what you have there is like an air bubble. Oh, like all that white stuff. Because if you do that too much, you're disrupting the... Yeah. So I think that's more of an air bubble. Okay, so now what you guys can do is take scissors and cut out, cut out just, just inside, you know, to make, a, make it a perfect circle or whatever. Use the scissors, we'll do better. Oh, you got scissors on there. How are we doing it? Just cut, just make it a, just cut just inside of the line there, outside of the edge. Just outside the edge? Mm-hmm. Just inside, you know, 
inside the edge. So you have a... So in the fabric. Yeah. So you just go on just, you know, just like that. Something like that. Yeah. So now, make your uh, get your saran wrap as perfect as you can get it in there. Okay. Then peel off the plastic on the side that has the carbon, because you want the carbon to be on the outside, right? So whichever side you want. touch it be very careful it stays clean now flip that upside down and put it put it on there and try to then push with your fingers try to mold it as much as you can as carefully as you can try to mold it inside there So I'm here with Zach and he's, uh, I'm showing how he's making the holes for his uh, vacuum bagging. So he took a piece of uh, the vacuum bagging plastic, folded it in half like four or five times. Now he's just punching holes in it. Uh, and that will end up being uh, part, of his, part of his vacuum bagging, one of the flies. Inside here they have they have some some paper towel to make a bleeder. We're gonna put a breather in there in a little bit. But they got their pieces in there, and then we'll hook up the uh, the vacuum port. So just started the vacuum bagging process. We uh, hooked up the vacuum port. Um, this is kind of what it looks like after uh, after you do the wetting out of the plies and putting them into the mold. Um, you can't really see it because it's in here, but we have the, the plies of fiberglass, then peel ply, then uh, the plastic with the holes cut in it, then the bleeder, which we're using paper towel. So the brown here is the, the bleeder, the paper towel, and then breather on that. So the breather is the white, and I got plenty of, plenty of bleather, breather by where the vacuum port is. Here you can start to see uh, the holes in the layer of plastic, it's starting to suck the resin out of there. So there we got kind of the resin that's starting to get sucked out and it's, you can see it right here too, and it's starting to soak into the bleeder and that's what it's for, that's what it's there for. So we got all these parts, um, they're, all, they're all looking really good, the vacuum bag is holding them in there. So we'll let these cure overnight. Uh, then open them up and, and finish them by, you know, cutting the edges, sanding them, and then uh, prepping them however you want it, either with paint or poly or whatever you want to do, and then uh, gluing the magnet to the backside. <laughs> 